angles, denominations of the, the Church of Esports. We accept all of the nominations here, especially on Sunday. Here is Trap. He's 6-2, and 5-1. and one. Most of his wins being against Zerg, he's definitely a very, very strong PvZ player. Yeah, he really is. And the thing about Trap is you can't kill him in the mid-game. Like, he just won't die. He's He seems to be invincible. That's what I really like about him. Now, Sue, of course, a big fan favorite. A two-time back-to-back GSL finalist. Lost both GSLs to a Protoss player. The first of which being Deer. The second of which being Zest. Two Protoss players who came out of nowhere, sprouted up like daisies, to take GSL titles, but still heavily favored here. He beat a lot of Protosses to get to that GSL Finals. He's no slouch in the matchup. It's lack of faith that makes people afraid of meeting challenges, and I believe in myself. A quote underneath Outboxer. I'm gonna start reading those to you guys, as now I have this monitor. This could be the end for I am if Sue takes just one. Zerg versus Protoss and Outboxer. Can Trap bring us to that ace match? Let's find out. Up here in the top left on Outboxer in the blue for Incredible Miracle, it is Trap. To the bottom right in orange for SKT, a two-time GSL finalist, it's Sue. This is one of the predictions that when I when I saw it come up, I was like, oh, yeah, this, this kind of is just, you know, pretty easily for Sue. I mean, anyone who watched the GSL finals against Zest, Zest being one of the best Protoss players in the world, and the way that Sue was able to play against him in that ZVP, it's obvious that Sue has an incredible understanding of the matchup, and you see him up against Trap. Trap is a very good Protoss. He has a very good rating against Zerg in this matchup. And, uh, you know, nine Sue's going to go way. for 9 pool. No. <laughs> Not even a 10 pool. He's going, uh, dropping it on 9. Yeah. Just to finish my thought, I mean, Trap is a, he's a very good Protoss player against Zerg. Uh, but I feel like in these positions against Sue, uh, we would all give it to Sue here. But we'll see. He is going to go for this 9 pool. You know, six months ago, I think everyone would have said the opposite. Uh, six to nine months ago, just depending on you know which period you're looking at. But now, obviously, things have been much figured out, much better figured out. Comes in here and sees, oh wow, you went for a really, really risky build here, and he's like, oh my god, I got your drone. I'm gonna get away with my nexus. But that's exactly what he wants him to do. He wants him to make the nexus. If he had been like, oh, your drone's going to block the Nexus, I guess I better make a gateway in the main, he would have been so angry about it. <laughs> All right, Nexus first. Pile in the main. Just continuing to harass over here with his drone. Just mess up some of that mining. Yep, any bit of mining you can get and uh, delay on the mining of the Protoss is very, very helpful. The gateway is started now, but there's six Zerglings coming across the map. And what is he going to have to defend against this? Nothing. We'll likely have to cancel the Nexus. Almost a given. Let's we'll see how much uh, he does beyond that. Says he's here from Australia to watch. Yeah, I spoke with him earlier, actually. A very friendly guy. Coming down as a fan from Australia. From Sydney, in fact. Well, let's see how much this does. I mean, the Nexus here, if he can hold it, that would be incredible. He just doesn't have a Zealot out. The gateway is not even done. And here come the first fourlings. Let's see how well Trap can micro against this. This pylon is forfeit, which means actually if he kills this pylon, the Zealot won't start. He needs to start that Zealot. He needs to start the oh Zealot, and then he will not start the Zealot. He does. Oh, he does, actually. He gets it Oh, off. wow. Oh, oh my, my god. god. How that did he even huge. do that? Like, I swear the pylon was dead before the gateway was done. He really rushed that out there. That is absolutely necessary. Now, actually, the, the Nexus finishes. He needs that because he needs that extra supply. Yeah, he really did. And now... Zergling is trying to, if they get a surround on that Zealot, it is huge. They need to kill that Zealot, but they might not be able to. He's Kerner boosting out another Zealot here. Should be able to hold it off for now in the mineral line at least. But that Nexus is uh, not looking good. Yeah, It's he's, looking very juicy for the Zerg. He's losing a lot of hit points. It's now down to half, losing all of its shields. And that's basically now become a 400 hit point pylon. He might get one Chrono off with it. Not even sure. Like, there's nothing really to Chrono right now. 
Uh, actually, that's not true. He could have chronos the probes, and he does. Well, he's losing a lot of probes here, Brendan. Now yep. down to 18. And there's already a second hatchery up at home. And he's just got so many oh. links here. Oh my god, he need and not allow this around here. Great position on that pile, but I'm not sure it's gonna matter. The first zealot looks like it will fall. So many probes coming off the fight here. He has another zealot now. And the mothership core is coming out. The mothership core will actually put an end to this. Yep, it will put an end to it. The probes being pulled there were key. If they were not there, those zealots were in a bad spot. But fortunately for Trap, he did do the right move. And now after killing that Nexus, uh, Sue's in a very good spot here. Come in, uh, trying to surround those zealots again, but not quite going to be able to. It's going to be uh, pushed away by this Mothership Core. I mean, if you look at the worker count right now, it's 19 to 15, but there's double hatcheries, so you can produce five workers at a time. So watch into a second, he's going to go up to the lead. Once he gets those queens out, he's going to have more larvae, can even go faster. This is going to hurt. I think he's going to lose this no matter what. I don't see any way of him saving it. So that, that's kind of painful. Actually, the lings are going to come down to try to save it. Maybe. They're thinking about it. They really are thinking hard I about think it. Oh. Nah, he nope. can't. He can't. It's too dangerous. And that is going to supply block him, but he does have two oh, more overlords on the way. Starts two more. Yeah, and he's uh, you know, starting to further his worker lead now, going up to 25. He's going to take those gases. And the Nexus is so late. The only thing that the trap has going for him is, well, actually, I mean, he had the worker count going for him, but he doesn't have tech at all. He doesn't have fast work gate research, he doesn't have Stargate, doesn't have robotics. No, no Twilight Council, nothing. Yeah. So we're, we're seeing warp gate at 7.30 being started there. He's starting a forge as well, and he's going to get that uh, sentry eventually to try to hold this off. And look at this, he can just actually start to focus down this Nexus, and it's going to be a long time before he has enough units to hold this off. He's going to start poking. He might actually just focus it down. No. Nope. Trying to bait out this Zealot into a bad position. Oh, I think he could have done a lot more there, but he just decided to play it safe. Yeah. Like, I didn't I want to forfeit all his Zerglings, I guess. I don't think he could have gotten the Nexus necessarily, but he might have been able to, like, punish that super greedy gateway wall. You know, like, if he just, like, right clicked on that for a second while it first started building, it would have been able to force a cancel, I think. Um, you know, maybe he could have tried to fight against the Stalkers and the Zealots. I think that would have been pretty crazy. But notice exactly what I was talking about earlier the work account now, a 10 deficit. And worker deficit for trap. Lair is on the way. Now the third hatch has started. He's going to have this tech advantage for a really long time. I, I wonder what we're going to see. I expect Stargate from trap because there's not really like any other build that lines up nicely. Okay, no, plus one and additional gates, and there's the Twilight Council. We could see plus two blink. Yeah. I feel like if he if he wants to play a standard drawn, drawn out game from here on out with this Nexus so, so late, it would be just a travesty. So I feel like his his only play here is to try to go very aggressive and try to catch Sue out, maybe get a bunch of units and get an advantage like that. Try to use your micro with uh, some possible force fields as well. He goes for some sentries in that mix. Just try to win in that manner. But uh, Sue reading this very well. He's going to get Burrow already Ooh. as well as the uh, Roach, Warren, and the Speed. Burrow is becoming like so much more common right now in this matchup. It gives you just, there's so much you can do with Burrow. It's a cheap upgrade. I mean, if, if you have this upgrade, you can, for example, even Burrow your drones to save them against Zealot harassment, you know? Like, just that idea, where you could Burrow a queen to save your queen against harassment. These are like the crazy extraneous things you can do with it. You can Burrow all of your roaches to save your, you know, units against an attack, forcing them to have robotics, forcing them to have an immortal if they want to do a timing attack. All right, so let's see how he does this. Is he going to make any more probes? Because he's cut them so far. If he doesn't make a single more additional probe, he's just going to make a gateway wall here, not even use this third nexus. He will let it finish, but he's not going to use it at all for mining. And then yep. he's just going to use that extra chrono boost energy to push the way across the map. There's the robo going down. We've seen this a lot of times. Just a uh, fake third over there, just plus that chrono boost energy. Robo is on the way. Blink is about halfway done, but you know, Sue, he already has a bunch of units out. And he has that third base up and mining, and he has 60 drones. He has more than enough economy to hold this off. Robotics timing is spotted here. Uh, he doesn't see everything, but I'd say he has a pretty good idea of what's about to happen here. Roach is over here going to try to maybe get this cannon. They want to surround from behind. There's no units over here behind this, and he's just going to come in here, and, you know, these sentries are just looking silly from behind, doing no damage. Oh, my God. He doesn't have speed here with his lings, but he's going to 
force out some sentry force fields to be used. Good force fields, but doesn't matter because he wants him to use those force fields because that means later with the attack that he's going to try to hit with, or that he may actually decide not to try to hit with, he's going to be in trouble. Two cannons going down defensively, plus two on the on the way still, but like no more probes. He's making more sentries, a lot of gas. He's making all these these cannons, which are all these resources not being used for an attack, not being used for, for anything else coming forward here. Yeah, this is such a tough position for Trap right now. He's he's basically got to swallow a lot, and he's just got to be like, okay, I guess I have to go late here. I'm just going to put up a bunch of cannons, be super defensive, because he just can't he can't attack right now. Sue has just total map control. He has no units, and uh, you know Sue's just going to walk around the base, pick off what he can. Could even get those. Uh, Centuries if possible, but now the photon overcharge does go down, push away the roaches for now. Seven Swarmos on the way, plus two for Locust. Roach burrow movement as well. Uh, synergized quite well with that burrow. He's also got speed, of course, for a long time now. So those roaches I like to call the nightmare roaches, uh, coming out with all their big scary spikes, fully upgraded here. And uh, I don't I don't like the position for trap at all. He has no AoE damage whatsoever. Only one observer on the map. And he could just try to attack with the Immortals, the plus two, and like blink, but no, he's getting Colossus and plus three, but the Locusts and all these Swarm Hosts are gonna do so much for him. He's in a great spot here. He's also got these Roaches to kind of personally bodyguard the Swarm Hosts. So if he commits to trying to snipe them, he's gonna wish he hadn't. Yeah. Guys, just take a look at the supply right now, even just army supply, 87 to 41. Now, he's got, like, five cannons at that third base and a couple at the natural, but I don't know. He's out of position with his army right now as well as the Sioux begins to pressure over here. He sees all those cannons, and he just turns around. Or actually, maybe they were just uh, looking at those probes. I think he was trying to get the probe. Like, yeah. he clicked on those for sure. All right, there's, he's like, oh, you don't have anything over here? I'm going to start or finish what my locust started, kill these cannons. I'm going to go for the Nexus. Will we see a recall? No, because the mothership is not with the army. So he has to walk so far home. I think he might just lose his Nexus. Yep. Yeah. He's going to lose the Nexus. Wow. Goodbye, Nexus. Almost for free. And now we can actually just walk away here. More Locusts coming into support. Try to fight against these free units. He, he dares you. All right. Here we go. Now those units are actually exposed. Great force fields here. He's got the vision now with that Observer, but still. Burrow movement underneath the force fields now. Killing the sentries. Locust from the north. And it does not look like Sue has anywhere near enough to trade efficiently here. He doesn't have a third Nexus anymore. And even if he killed all the Swarmos, which by the way, he won't. Recovering from this is gonna be such a difficult task. Plus three, not done for him yet. Plus two for these Roaches, about to pop. And he doesn't have to overcommit. Just wait for some more Locusts. He's got a fourth base back here, and this is just a sad, sad warp prism over there at the fourth base. I mean, he could do something with that, but that means he's not warping it at home. He's not warping it at home, he might die. He needs every single unit that he has at his base right now to defend this. He's just trying to barely push out this one Colossus, which just isn't, frankly, going to do anything. These Roaches are going to burrow in right now, and they're just probably going to land the final blow. Does have the Observer, so he's going to kite very nicely, but Sue is just willing to trade right now. He's like, okay, I got the Locust with this army as well. Yep, way too much firepower here. He's just trading endlessly. We had a shot for a second to the island. He has a probe on the island. You know, we missed that somehow. He, he sent a Warp Prism over there, but it doesn't matter. What does he do, make a Nexus there and change the world? No, it's not happening. That Nexus is not canceled, by the way. And all these zealots he's focusing on right now will kill a serious amount of harvesters, but yeah. harvesters aren't the problem. The problem is the, the army that's knocking on his doorstep right now. You know, there's no leaving the base. No, not really. These roaches that are popping out now are just going to kill all these zealots, and if he wants to start mining there again, he can. That uh, war prism is going to try to start something in the main base of Sioux as well, but uh, just continuous locusts coming out here. Trap is trapped in his second base. He's really trying to make something happen. He did force a cancel on the spire, it looks like. So that's pretty important. Uh, that means there's still no corruptors to help deal with those colossi. There are 47 roaches on the map, and he's building that gas bank. The spire restarted, of course. You know, if he can hold on a little bit longer and take the, the island base, that might be one way he could try to catch up in this game. But he needs, he needs a miracle. Actually, he needs like three miracles and Sue has to make five critical mistakes for him to come back in this game. But he five knows- Five to ten. Five <laughs> to ten. Oh my god, he finds a Spire again. Yeah, he's gonna get the Spire, he's gonna come around it. But can the Roaches stop it? Maybe. Uh, but the Roaches here at the front trying to do more damage. 
Nothing to shoot this Mothership Core, you know, to eventually be picking at it. He does cancel the Spire, so that is big. I'm gonna try to make sure he cancelled it. Actually, there's no way for me to check that even with my Ethereum PC. I'm sure he did. More Locusts coming in here regardless, attacking constantly. That island base still not taken. And I mean, he he barely has enough minerals to take it. The thing is that the Spire is cancelled twice, so he's gotta be like, okay, well, I have Mutas over there. He has a, an, uh, or an Overlord in the scout, so he sees that the base could be taken. Time Warp goes down here and one force field before realizing that he has Burrow movement. And he's going to just blank forward. He's going to pick off some more roads just here. He's slowly getting his supply back, but he still is on two base. So, I mean, you know, we're seeing Sue throw up a fifth base right now. He is totally fine maxed out on his economy right now. But here comes Trap. You know, he does have that one Immortal and those two Colossi. But is it enough? He's got nothing to fall back on. If he doesn't win right now, he has no third base. His main is mined out. His natural is going to follow suit pretty soon. He has 500 to 600 minerals and 400 gas. And that's all he's going to have this game. Zealot's being warped in here to die. 13 Corruptors on the way now that the Spire is finally completed. The Hive is on the way. Seven Spine Girls on the way. Kills a base. One small step here, but he's going to cost him a lot of Stalkers. Yep. A bunch of Stalkers going down there, and he's, he doesn't even have to fight this. I mean, he might, just because he can. He's going to snipe another unit there before the recall goes off, but... Oh, this is just so sad for Trap. He recalls back to his base, which is just, like, slowly running out of minerals. He still has no third Nexus. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Locusts that are going to come out of these swarm holes are going to lead the charge. They're going to keep picking away at that Protoss army. He's going to engage with his roaches when he's ready. I think he wants to lose some of these roaches so he can, you know, just continue to build more Corruptors. There are four Colossi on the map. That's a lot. You know, even with 13 Corruptors, that's not exactly enough. He's going to have to fight with his roaches, too. Stalkers keep marauding around, picking off structures. He's actually cleaning up some creep over there as well. But uh, he needs to... Get something more. Shala Bisu is like really into it. He's so handsome. <laughs> well, he's gonna actually try to catch these stalkers. So an observer here, so he can try to blink onto the high ground to save himself. Wow, he's actually gonna lose a corruptor here. That's not enough roaches. Here come the rest. Clear the roaches now. He's gonna trap it for now. Even if they blink away, even a snipe on the observer as well. And now he's pushing out over here, and he's actually catching these swarms. Wow. I mean... Uh, this is something, you know? We talked about miracles, the miracles he was going to need. He's starting to get a few of them. Thing is, he's on incredible miracles, so he's got some to spare, I suppose. But here come those Corruptors. He's stuck outside of his base now. Two Colossi down, two more likely to fall in just a second. Kills the rest of the Stalkers here with his Roaches. DTs. Cute, but not enough. There's the Overseer. Last Colossus is down. So is that Robotics, or rather that Warp Prism. GG. SKT will take the Series 3-1. Sue may not have beaten two Cross players back-to-back. -back. He failed twice in ZVPs and GSL Finals, but when it comes to a best of one against Trap to bring his team to victory, that's something he can do. Yes. Right from the beginning. I mean, in the beginning of the game, you have to remember Trap went for a very, very greedy uh, Nexus first, and Sue went for the nine pool. Maybe he watched some of Trap's games on Outboxer. Not very sure, but he had his number, that's for sure. And uh, just starting from there, getting a very nice advantage. Had a lot of room to just expand onto three bases and secure the game from there. Sue just very, very well played. Very standard. Yeah. Solid play, man. Well, that was uh, a bit of an abrupt ending. I thought we would see a bit of a... A better match for these two. Trap preparing so long for this, not really worried about anything else right now. And uh, still fails to win that last most important match, but well fought, you know, considering how far behind he was from the beginning. But Sue was always just one step ahead. And getting the swarm boss out was key. Killing the Nexus was really nice for him as well. Once you kill a Nexus,